In general, open access publications are those made freely available online to anyone, anywhere, with no charges imposed for access. Essentially, OA allows users to read, download, copy, distribute, print, search, or link to the full text of works, permitting use for any lawful purpose as long as internet access to the material is possible. OA consists of two elements. One, the establishment of a new generation of journals that do not charge subscription or access fees, and two, author self-archiving and or commitment to deposit a digital copy of the publication to a publicly accessible website. OA publications generally maintain peer review to preserve their academic reputations, and many open access journals recover costs by charging an author publication fee. It's obvious to information professionals that growth of this movement came more rapidly with the onset of the internet. Users had immediate access to more and more information, and scientists didn't want to wait the long intervals from submissions to publishing to present their findings to colleagues and the world. PubMed Central is a familiar example of OA. It currently houses full text for more than 160 journals. Many of these are freely available elsewhere, however, PubMed Central stands to become even more important to the OA movement because under the NIH Public Access Policy, it serves as the repository for publications resulting from NIH-funded research. Our first goal is to educate scientific authors or our hospitals, doctors, and nurses regarding the benefits of OA and author self-archiving initiatives. A recent study completed for the UK's Joint Information Systems Committee confirms that while most scientific authors embrace the idea of OA journals to broaden exposure to their work, many have difficulty in identifying suitable OA journals in their field of interest. A majority, 81%, would willingly adhere to a self-archiving requirement from an employer or funder. Academic and research institutions generally support the OA concept to increase availability and lower costs of access to scholarly literature. Our second goal is to be part of the solution. In the longer term, a combination of the following may occur to resolve the serials pricing crisis. One, development of more OA and Spark type lower subscription cost journals that over time gain in stature and impact to provide true competition with traditional established titles. Number two, increased implementation of institutional repositories and self-archiving enabled by further development of effective finding tools like OAIster and Google Scholar. And three, more funders mandating deposit of grant-supported manuscripts in free archives like PubMed Central. These steps might lessen commercial publishers' current stranglehold. The key is to reduce large profits collected by publishers without destroying peer review and high-quality journals. The HSLI proposal has two elements. To first assess if our physicians and nurses would be willing to participate in developing an institutional repository partnership among all Illinois hospitals. And second, to establish an Illinois hospital library repository.